Hello there, the Fabled Harpooner here, ready for another high rank Great Jaggy Hunt. Weapon class this time is the Switch Axe and the weapon of choice, one of the upgrades to the Ground Dasher. I'm using the Renoculus armor set. Mostly because, well, we have Focus, which is okay for the Switch Axe. Not really necessary, it's handy to have around. But because the Switch Axe I'm going to group. I'm going to be using the upgrade to the Grand Dasher still remains in the exhaust file types. I thought that would uh, benefit from the Knockout skill, the Knockout King, but it's grey down. So I'm not sure if that's a mislabel, like it's not probably detecting that the weapon can deal Knockout damage, or the fact that the exhaust damage in sword mode from this weapon doesn't actually apply any knockout damage, just exhaust. I was under the impression that it actually could do knockout. I'm not entirely sure. Gonna be using it anyway, with this armor set. Otherwise I could have used the uh, Lagiacris for the extra damage. But I need to test this out. Anyway, upgrade weapons. The weapon of choice, the heavy divider. It's a Durumboros based switch axe, although it requires carbonite ores, which is high rank items. But the rest is just low rank Durumboros. Mostly the horns, which are relatively easy to get, it's just a, you do spend a lot of them if you well, do what I do again, which is get every single weapon of the game. Was a nice change in visuals. So it's a modified weapon, even though it has the similar file. So we get a nice increase in raw damage, twice the amount of, or even more, of green sharpness. Still an exhaust file and nothing else really changes, other than the visual aspect of it, which is nice. That seems to be the axe mode. They should add the option to view the weapon in sword mode as well, from here. Anyway, let's make the weapon. Sort to these, and again, weapon moves about. Okay, we do have drinks. We don't have fresh, well, fresh drinks, but we don't have, don't have uh, fresh fish. Oop. Keep making those mistakes. Anyway, explorer somewhere. Got plenty of polisher, which we might make use of, although I think I have the skill. Got gatherer, artillery. No, we don't have the speed sharpener. So, I might go for that, but there's no Again, fresh fish. No fresh bread. What about these two? Don't really need elemental resistance. Just a bit of a crazy mix. Lucky cat and lucky cat and crazy lucky cat. With a tipsy effect. Apparently tipsy comes with mixing drinks with drinks of any kind. And, well, drinks air with other drinks or drinks with milk or dairy products. Double kickboxer, which is doesn't really stack like that. Don't want the elemental. This is a Ghana mix. Pyro with crazy lucky cat. Not really going to use bombs. Don't really need extra zenny. Lucky Cat is okay. Or I could go for a mixture of weird stuff. Again, I would rather get Explorer, but it's not anywhere around here by the looks of it. No, nothing really that catches my interest. Guess I'll go for a lucky cat. Although I'm down to 400 
Case any from 600 that are started during the descents. So, a crazy lucky cat might not be a bad idea. Just to double the amount of zenny. Especially since last time I didn't really check the amount of extra zenny, if it's double or triple the amount. And this not live, I could easily check it after the recording. Okay, let's do it this way. So, crazy lucky cat, Pyro has no effect here, I'm not using any bombs. Doesn't don't think it increases K Amber's bombs anyway. So off we go. I'm gonna start off with using the sword, see if I can hit the head and try to get a knockout. Oh start I can. Must have been the first time in this series of hunts. I'm not gonna bother to approach these stealthily. Not really interested in their eggs or other items that they drop when surprised. Although I think I just heard a bomb go off. So who knows what Kayamba's doing? Great check should still be around. Which apparently was at the entry exit point and I didn't really notice. Okay, so rather than the sword, now that was the sound of a knockout damage. Wow, two hits to the head, I believe. Again, so instead of a sword, some sort of mace in sword mode. Which would explain the knockout damage. Or exhaust damage at the very least. So it looks like an X here. Get out of there so I can see you properly. Interesting. Goes into a mace mode with spikes. That one didn't cause knockout damage by the sound of it. Even though I'm hitting the head. Well, we've got it exhausted already, which is nice. Doing a lot of damage. Let's reload it again, see if we can get some more exhaust. Moving about a bit. Oh, you get. Nope. That was nearly a problem that sent me flying. No idea how that last swing didn't even connect. Last one did. I uh, because it moved, but one before, not entirely sure. A bit hard to tell with all this high, tall grass. Again, we're getting some knockout damage, or at least sound effects. Although we're not really getting a proper knockout. Just trying to flee. Is it going to turn around? Or actually, free from here. We actually fled. I was going to feed, which is okay by me, I suppose, or not. Looked like I was going to run over to the carcass and feed from it. Okay, 
Okay, I was out of the area of the explosion from that bomb. And he's probably fleeing again. Probably don't need to paint all that, but just in case. So yeah, apparently from 4, if it goes into a, one, of, one of its shortcuts, it seems to move to down to, I think it's area 2. can't remember on the map. Okay, not really should sharpen, actually. So, since I believe the overhead chop is the highest damaging one, and I might reach it, nice. Unlike the sword and shield, the switch axe axe and actually reach the head when it's sleeping here. And it's dead. It took over five minutes. About 12 seconds over. Total of 44 minutes, 48 seconds remaining. Ooh, it's body nearly a bit too close to the invisible wall. I'm not going to collect any dung this time. Focus on minerals. Didn't get the knockout, but again, there was some knockout visual effects and sound effects while hitting the head. So I'm not sure if this skill should actually be probably activated. Obviously, it might be active, but it's not probably showing up to let you know that it is. It's a bit of a weird situation there. Okay, a lot more rewards than last time. King's Reel. Hides, claws, fine bones. Always welcome. Great, jaggy head. Seem to always get one of those as well. Shining Charms, Armor Spheres, oh, a lot of Shining Charms. Anything of value? Good recovery level, negative piercing shot, transporter, lose out the poison, poison coating, which is not much of a loss. I mean, they don't really go together. Sleep and sleep coating. The first one makes you resistance to sleep, the second one allows you to apply sleep. So I guess it's this one kind of uh, balances itself out, though not too well. And a fully, fully positive defense plus four. Gonna keep all of them. Might sell one of them or two later on, depends on what I already have. So, this has been the favoured Harpooner, hunting a great Jaggy high rank with the Switch Axe weapon class and the Heavy Divider as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time and good hunting.